Mounting cameras changes when you switch to PTZ cameras. Here's three ways that I mount my Canon CRN300 and CRN500 cameras, and I'll share why I use each method along with a full parts list. Oh, and psst. This works for any PTZ camera, so while I'm a massive fan of the CRN500 and the 1 inch 4K sensor and the 15x optical zoom and dual pixel autofocus, you could still do this with any other cameras too. PTZ cameras, also known as pan, tilt, and zoom cameras, allowed me to up my game as a live streamer when it comes to being a one-man band. It allowed me to keep the budget down for certain clients that still wanted my services but didn't need a full-blown camera crew. With three of these cameras, I can run a three-camera show or at bare minimum have a wide shot and a close-up shot of a conference or lectern at the front of the room. But if you're going to do everything on your own, it's crucial to make the setup and the breakdown as easy as possible. You can't always get into an event room or venue the night before to set up and sometimes have as little as one to two hours to get things up and running. There's two main setups that I use for mounting the cameras and these are C-stands and tripods. I'll get to the three different mount that I use on these stands in just a moment. I'm a fan of the Turtle Base C stands from Impact or Niwer if you're on a budget. On the tripod front, I'm only talking about the tripod legs as no head is needed in our setup. The tripods I use are the Benro Mach 3 Extra Long 4 Series. They weigh less than 7 pounds and they hold up to 44 pounds with a maximum height of 85 inches. That's just over 7 feet and pretty rare for lighter smaller tripods like this. The C stands go to 10 feet tall so they've got a 3 foot advantage. There's a few reasons why I'd go with one over the other. For starters, the C-Stand is made more or less to be set up on flat ground, whereas the tripod legs can individually be adjusted to level out the tripod on uneven ground. The C-Stand has a smaller footprint, but might make it tougher if you need to set up in between some theater seats in an auditorium, while the tripod has a larger footprint and could take away much needed space in the room. It's also much easier to trip over a tripod leg since it sticks out further, so I try to use neon colored spike tape to make a box around the tripod on the floor and help with the visibility. I also recommend using bright orange sandbags to weigh down either the C-stand or the tripod. I know that black is more common in the industry, but I choose orange for safety reasons. I'll be sure to link to those down below. Now let's talk about the three mounting options. The cameras have a quarter 20 thread for mounting. The tripods, however, have a 3 a 16 mount, so for those who aren't good at math, this won't work, at least not directly. To mount the cameras directly to the tripod, you'll need an adapter that goes from 3 eighths female to quarter 20 male. The one that I use is from Cambate and the link is below. I just recommend if you do use this to keep a pair of pliers or channel locks handy because these do tend to get pretty tight so if you're constantly putting these on and off the cameras it'll help to have a tool to help with that. I just toss channel locks in my case with my PTZ cameras for whenever I need it. This is mounting style number one and it works well to get the cameras onto a tripod quickly but you'll have to use the tripod leg to level out the camera. We'll talk more in a moment about my solution for that in mounting method number three. Method number two is to mount the cameras to a C-stand. This is a little bit different since the C-stand has a lighting mount and not the typical screw mount of a tripod. The easy fix I have for this is by getting a baby ball head adapter from Kupo. This adapter locks onto the C-stand and then provides you with a 3 8 16 mount, but Yet again, you'll still need the adapter from Camvate to adapt 3 ace to quarter 20. Now method number three is quickly becoming my favorite. It adds a few more pieces of gear, but it gives you a lot more flexibility to level out the cameras and the added benefit of mounting two cameras to one stand. Using this third method, I have my Benro tripod and I mount a horizontal support arm from Photoconic directly to the tripod. This now provides me with two adjustable mounting heads to place two PTZ cameras on one tripod. To take this a step further, I got leveling tripod bases from Sunway Photo that each have a 22 pound capacity and these mount directly onto the horizontal mounting bar. Now, I've made it super easy to level out the cameras regardless of whether or not the tripod is on flat ground. But wait, there's more. To make this an even quicker setup as a one-man band, I've got a Canvate quick-release plate that is considered a long plate. That way, it's providing more support to the bottom of the camera and not just relying on one single screw. I also changed out the default tripod plate screws for Canvate's quarter 20 hex screws. It's part number 2550 and also linked below. It's easy to keep a hex wrench in my bag in case I ever need to take the screws out and provide some added security. That completes 
the setup and I love this method because I can fit two cameras on one tripod save space and this makes for easier cable runs too. Let me know how you're mounting your PTZ cameras and if you're not already using PTZ cameras, I'd love to see any creative setups that you have for your regular cameras too. Until next time.